Well, hello everyone and welcome to another Team Thought. Today I thought that I would share with you something about books. Now, I don't know whether any of you saw on uh, Facebook feeds recently about a challenge to um, share your favourite book with um, a friend and um, there's a kind of a cascade way that's been going around to do that recently and I thought well why not share with you the Fit Fish friends some of my favourite books uh, now that's a little tricky because I do love books and if I had a bigger house then I probably would have more bookcases uh, as it is at the moment I have one in my living room here which has uh, all sorts of different things on it, uh, from uh, Christian books to lots of cookery books, uh, maps, CDs, um, some good novels, um, all sorts of different things really, and similarly another one upstairs in my bedroom. And so I can't share all of them with you, but I've just picked a little selection um, to see whether there's anything that takes your interest. So here's the first one. It's uh, called... There we go, uh, Lineage of Grace by Francine Rivers. Now Francine Rivers uh, writes um, novels in the main and they tend to be based around Bible stories and she's the first to acknowledge that these don't necessarily exactly stick to the biblical accounts but she tries to take into um, consideration the historical context around the time of the stories and in this particular book she takes the five women that are mentioned in the lineage of Christ and explains something of the background around those stories and so that we get a, a fuller picture perhaps than um, if we don't understand much about history um, and perhaps the cultures and traditions that are around at the time that those stories were written so I'd highly recommend that um, and it's quite useful because it's actually five small books in one and you can read one book um, and then come back to it at a later date and they've got bible studies to go along with it second book I've got for you is this one So this one is called uh, God 360, 120 Experiential Devotions by a chap called Andy Flanagan. Uh, Andy Flanagan um, also writes uh, some, some interesting uh, music as well. He qualified originally as a doctor, uh, but didn't, uh, didn't last long doing that and ended up in full-time Christian ministry. Um, and he wrote that book really just to encourage us uh, in our quiet times to do something a little different other than uh, sitting on a chair or, or sat on a bed or wherever we do our quiet time but getting out and about um, and doing some practical things in order to try and vary things change things up and uh, make them a little bit more interesting uh, keep our interest so uh, that's a good one if you can get hold of it it's a little bit old so I'm not sure whether you can anymore uh, third one is a comical book uh, so here's the next one Sorry, it's a little bit difficult to get the camera at the right angle, so I hope that it's working for you. This is A Year of Biblical Womanhood by a lady called Rachel Held Evans, and that was given to me for my birthday a couple of years ago by a dear friend. Um, and it's a very humorous book uh, where the lady, the, auth the authoress, um, takes the full year where she tries to follow the traditions um, of the Old Testament in terms of the way that she uh, runs the house and the way that she treats her husband and such like and um, she takes it very seriously uh, in some ways in terms of uh, sticking to the cultures and traditions of the time um, but it's also a very uh, humorous read as she tries to do that in the modern world. Uh, next one I've got for you actually isn't a Christian book at all but it is um, uh, one that was recommended to me recently and I think it's just a really uh, poignant read There we go. Uh, it's called uh, When Breath Becomes Air and it's by a chap called Paul Callan 
Steeny. Um, he is, um, or he was an American neurosurgeon, um, pretty much exactly the same age as me actually when he wrote the book. Um, and it's a sad story of how he discovered at 36 that he um, had stage four lung cancer. Um, he was a very a uh, well-qualified neurosurgeon and it, it really gives an account of his journey through his treatment and on actually until his eventual death. I think it's not spoiling the story because you know that really from the outset. Um, but it's, it's just a very well written book um, and just a, a good reminder of how um, fragile life can be um, and, and how important I felt in the context of reading that book that um, my faith is to me and something which um, he touches on in the book without actually having um, a faith himself. And finally, I have this book. This was recommended to me by my dad and I thoroughly enjoyed this read. It's this one. It's called uh, The Wild Gospel by Alison Morgan. Um, she's written two or three other books as well. Um, and it really is just a fabulous account um, of the Gospels. Um, and again, puts into something of the cultural and historical context of that day um, and really brings some of the gospel stories to life and then goes on to uh, put things into the context of the modern day um, and I think that's a, a really great read as well. So if any of those pique your interest um, or if you can't quite make out um, the details uh, from the, the video clip and you want to get hold of them then and do contact us at the office and we can give you uh, the list of those books if you're interested. Um, so I hope that's uh, of interest to you. Have a wonderful day.